Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all denarians on the go and in the know. I would like to wish everyone a Merry Christmas Eve. Please like subscribe and share to help support our channel. Don't be left behind. The 12 days of Christmas sale is almost over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN and receive an additional $10 off the already discounted sale price. Invest in yourself and your family's well-being this Christmas. Also, be sure to follow me on both Facebook and Twitter as I am posting important information you need to know on those platforms throughout the day. The links are in the description box below. I encourage you, stay informed and stay alert, knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. We have some great news today, let's get started. First article of interest for today. Source. A decisive meeting this evening to nominate the candidate for prime minister is likely to choose an independent personality. A source familiar with the matter, Tuesday, December 24, 2019, said that the leaders of the political blocs are planning to hold a crucial meeting this evening to nominate the candidate for prime minister. The source said Baghdad today, the leaders of the political blocs intend to hold a meeting this evening, to resolve the selection of the candidate to head the next government. He favored choosing an independent figure to head the government. A well-informed source revealed, on Monday, December 23, 2019, that a meeting was currently held in the home of the leader of the al Fatah coalition, Hadi al-Amiri, to discuss nominating the candidate for prime minister. The source said in an exclusive interview with Baghdad today that the meeting was held at the request of the Iraqi Forces Alliance and discusses extensively the file of naming the candidate for the presidency of the transitional government. On Monday, December 23, 2019, the Construction Alliance held a crucial meeting on the nomination of its final candidate for prime minister. A member of the House of Representatives, on the building block, Naim al said in an interview with him Baghdad today that the Construction Alliance held a short time ago an expanded meeting to discuss all political issues, including resolving its candidate for the post of prime minister. He added that the results of the meeting will be announced to the public opinion upon completion of the meeting, denying the reports circulated by the media regarding the nomination of Basra Governor Azad al Aidani to take the position in place of the Minister of Higher Education Qusay al Suhail. Next article of interest. Finally, the House of Representatives settles the issue of the electoral law. Today, the Iraqi Council of Representatives has completed voting on the draft law for elections to the Iraqi Council of Representatives. Parliament started its session by voting on the election law with the presence of 169 representatives and the withdrawal of 15 representatives. An informed political source added, representatives withdraw from different political blocs before beginning to read the election law. And local media indicated that the House of Representatives voted on Article 15 of the Electoral Law after widespread debate. It also stated that the House of Representatives ultimately voted on Articles 15, 16, 17 of the Electoral Law. Next article of interest. Iraq discusses joining European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. The Ambassador of Iraq in London, Mr. Mohammad Ja Afar al Sadr, has met Mr. Enzo Quattrocioca, the Secretary General of the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development, EBRD. During the meeting, they discussed the possibility of Iraq joining the bank. The ambassador stressed the importance of moving forward with the implementation of Iraq's economic development plans by supporting private sector, promoting investment projects and building capacities in the field of developing the banking system. Mr. Quattro Sioka stated that EBRD is ready to cooperate and support Iraq and its bid to become a member of the bank, indicating the advantages of this membership to Iraq including the opportunity to benefit from global banking experiences to develop Iraq banking sector and obtain technical support, assistance that prepares the good environment to invest. The below is a post from Delta Today on the KTF Always Forum. We would like to inform our valued customers. All branches of the Iraqi Bank of Commerce will stop carrying out foreign remittances from Sunday, December 29th. 
2019 to conduct annual inventories. The implementation of these transfers will resume from Sunday 5th, 2020 it was therefore necessary to note. Delta. Next article of interest. The building nominates Al Adoni to replace Al Suhail as Prime Minister. The deputy revealed the conquest of the building coalition, Mukhtar Al Musawi, on Tuesday, that his coalition chose to nominate the current governor of Basra, Azad Al Adoni, to form the government. Musawi said in statements monitored by the Obelisk that the building coalition chose to nominate the current Basra governor, Azad Al Adoni, to form the government as a substitute for the previous candidate he put forward, the Minister of Higher Education and Scientific Research Kusay Al Suhail. Parliament Speaker Mohammed Al Halbousi identified, earlier on Tuesday, the largest bloc, the Construction Alliance, in a book he sent to President of the Republic Baram Saleh. Next article of interest. Saleh. We are doing everything we can to overcome the current circumstance towards further reform. Today, Tuesday, President of the Republic Baram Saleh congratulated our entire Christian and humanitarian children on the occasion of Christmas. In the following the text of the congratulations, with the advent of Christmas, we extend our warmest congratulations to the Iraqi Christian Brotherhood, inside and outside the country, and to all Christians and humanity as a whole on this fragrant occasion, the occasion of the birth of the Messenger of Love and Peace, Jesus Christ peace be upon him. We all take inspiration on the anniversary of the glorious and valuable Christmas. Hi, that came by Christ for a world of serenity and brotherhood and human dignity, faith and goodness. It is the values shared by divine religions, which lived human, humanitarian flea yokes, in order to attain in coexistence which in peace and contentment. Thus lived our people in various religions and his sex with love, cooperation and synergy over the centuries, and he gave this example of good coexistence. Thus, we stand with reverence, appreciation and gratitude in front of the will of our Christian people, and they decide to refrain from the manifestations of need for this year in honor of the blood and sacrifices of the people of the martyrs and wounded from peaceful demonstrators and the armed forces and in appreciation of the general condition of the country, a circumstance that we hope and do everything we can to overcome it towards further reform the consolidation of the security and stability of the country and the advancement and progress of it in a manner that meets the aspirations of our people of all religions, sex and nationalities, and enhances our unity and synergy. Glory to the great birthday, the gratitude of the memory of Christ, and the love of our Christian people wherever they are. We always pray and pray for us and humanity for peace, freedom, prosperity and human brotherhood. And, next article of interest, the Presidency of Parliament directs the parliamentary security to follow up on the legal grounds of the American Embassy. Today, Tuesday, the Presidency of Parliament directed the Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee to follow up the legality of the land of the American Embassy. A parliamentary source said, the Presidency of the Parliament instructed the Parliamentary Security and Defense Committee to follow up the legality of the land of the U.S. Embassy during the session today. Two members of the House of Representatives, through an official letter, demanded the resigned Prime Minister Adel Abdul Mahdi the legal bond to own the Iraqi land on which the American Embassy in Baghdad was built. Next article of interest. In the document. Members of Congress address Pompeo to punish the killers of the Iraqi demonstrators and interfere with the selection of the Prime Minister. He addressed members of the U.S. Congress, David Troon, Jan Shakovsky, Dean Phelps, and Walken. G. Alred, Tuesday, December 24, 2019, U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo regarding the demonstrations in Iraq and the selection of the next Prime Minister. In the text of the letter addressed to Pompeo, and published by Republican David Tron, the four members stated, Dear Minister Pompeo, protesters in Iraq are standing at a crossroads and looking for support from America, according to figures in the New York Times, more than 500 Iraqis have been killed at the hands of Iranian-backed elements while fighting for their democratic and human rights, thousands of others were injured and imprisoned. Members added, 
This is not the kind of behavior we expect from a democratic partner in the Middle East. We commend the administration for its recent imposition of sanctions on corrupt individuals and those who support the suppression of demonstrators and violence against them, noting that these measures will have a clear impact and the Iraqi people feel satisfied by the moves to hold human rights violators accountable for their crimes. The members continued, We hope that these sanctions are fully implemented and that we make sure that other partner countries take similar measures. So we ask that you continue to work urgently to support the legitimate democratic aspirations of the Iraqi people. The members pointed out that the Iraqi president is currently making a decision about who will be chosen as the next prime minister, and it is important that the United States be ready to work with the candidate who takes the demands of the Iraqi people seriously. The signatories emphasized in the document. We believe that we can work better with Iraqi leaders who represent the best interests of the Iraqi people who will not spill the blood of Iraqi demonstrators, nor will they be corrupt, and they will be the voice of an independent, sovereign Iraq and free of foreign influence. The members pointed out that the Iraqi people must have confidence in this choice and their needs must be at the forefront of the decision-making process for Iraqi leaders. The wrong decision may be disastrous for Iraq. The members continued, We are confident that the option that the people of Iraq accept will help achieve stability in the country and serve the national interests of both Iraq and America. We look forward to your active participation in Iraq at this critical juncture in the country's history, stressing, We are ready to assist you and the Iraqi people in seeking a better future and an ongoing partnership with the American people with sincere appreciation. Once again, I would like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Like and subscribe to be alerted as more articles of interest unfold. Be sure to find me on Facebook and Twitter, so you don't miss a beat. Take advantage of the 12 days of Christmas sale before it's over. Use the promo code FEDENARIAN for the additional discount on the already discounted price. Time is running out. Lock in your discount today. The link is in the description below. Stay informed and stay alert. Knowledge is power. And know that today we are one day closer than yesterday. Over and out for now. The Denarian.